Non-native related issues can all and really listen. Good afternoon, dear friends. Please listen to the information about latest situation from the contact line during the last 24 hours near Lugansk. The militants twice opened fire from small arms near Bohuslavsky village. One more mili uh, combat provocation with the use of mortar happened near Novozvanevka. Also, the enemy sniper worked there. Near Donetsk, the militants continued to carry out uh, mortar shellings. Uh, in the places where there is the most uh, acute uh, counteractions, this is near Donetsk Airport and Horlivka um, uh, industrial agglomeration. Near Avdivka and Open, Opitne, they opened fire from 80 to 120 millimeter mortars, grenade launchers, and small arms uh, also. Near Putilevska mine, they used 152 millimeter artillery. From another side, from uh, near Gorlevka, they continue mortar shells near Leninsk and Novhorodsk. Uh, they, there, they used uh, their um, uh, m missiles and grenade launchers and small arms uh, in the south of this uh, location uh, they used artillery near Kamyanka mortars near Krasnogorevka and uh, in the close uh, Novoselevka Druha there was the um, uh, military provocation with grenade launchers and small arms here they launched 134 mortar mines and 25 artillery uh, shells one more military provocation uh, was near Luhansk at the Svetlodarsk bridge. Uh, near Mariupol, the illegal band formations three times opened fire from mortars near uh, Marienka, and one local civil resident was wounded. The Ukrainian law enforcers brought the women to hospital. Well, more mortar shellings happened in the southern part of Krasnogorevka and Talakivka. There were 34 uh, mines, uh, uh, mortar mines launched there. Uh, in general, in result of uh, provocations uh, near Talakivka, uh, 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 they used grenade launchers, small arms, and armored vehicles. Uh, some provocations near with registered near Pavlopol and Slavne. During the last 24 hours, uh, there were no casualties among our troops, but six uh, servicemen were wounded because of shellings near Avdivka and Marienka. The losses of the militants for the last 24 hours for people were killed and uh, three people were wounded. Um, they participated in uh, subversary uh, acts um, near Mariupol and uh, Avdiivka and carried out reconnaissance operations. The intelligence service suggests that the discipline among the militants has fallen down. Thus, commander of the uh, reconnaissance uh, um, company uh, Nia de Baltseva uh, submitted a report requesting to go back to Russia. Uh, commanders from platoons of the same, same band formation also submitted such requests. Also, the uh, main intelligence department suggests uh, that uh, uh, near Abdiev, Kamarin, and Novotrovsk on June 12th, uh, um, and in Donetsk, there was joint uh, a military council session with participation from uh, Federal Intelligence Bureau from Russia and uh, uh, the National Guards of Russia. Uh, and uh, uh, the decision was made to increase reconnaissance operations near Donetsk Airport, Krasnogorian, Kamarian, Novotrovsk. Also, it was decided to strengthen technical a group of the militants near Marienka, 
uh, and to strengthen the separate uh, uh, one hundred uh, um, uh, motorized brigade near Donetsk. Um, also, the law enforcers continue to uh, arrest participants of the band formations yesterday in Kramatorsk. Uh, uh, two uh, former militants were detained from the so-called LPR. They patrolled the city. They remained at the checkpoints. Uh, uh, check documents and cars, and the first they flew uh, with the militants to the occupied territories and then left because they were uh, very much disillusioned with what they saw in the occupied territories. Also, yesterday, the border guard in Kramatorsk had detained the father and his son, which participated in the activities of a legal ban formation. Uh, uh, another participant of the uh, band formation uh, with the nom de guerre Zub uh, was, uh, um, had made the use of the uh, SBU program uh, coming back home and uh, he voluntarily surrendered um, to the law enforcement agencies. He was promised to be paid the money in case he serves in the band formation, but he wasn't paid and decided to return. The special services had blocked uh, retranslation of almost uh, two dozens of uh, the prohibited Russian TV channels. Local entrepreneur retranslated them in his own telecommunication network, so he was warned that the next time the criminal responsibility um, will be up imposed upon him. Also, uh, Ukrainian servicemen continues to expropriate create uh, explosive ordinance in the occupied territory. Thus, in Lugansk, near the Zolote checkpoint, the border guards had revealed uh, uh, artillery charges, the grenades, and ammunition for the grenade launchers. And near Kostantinivka, they expropriated from a small bus three grenade launchers, ten grenades, and explosive ordinance amounting to uh, half a kilo. Ukrainian servicemen continues to neutralize explosive ordinance remained by the occupants. During the last week, uh, uh, the uh, military forces uh, servicemen neutralized 800 um, objects of explosive ordinance and cleared six hectares of the territory. As Ukrainian uh, servicemen um, participate in the joint exercises in Akonda 2016 in Poland, where the Lithuanian, Polish, and Ukrainian brigades carried out joint exercises and joint operation on uh, revealing and destroying band formations. So the uh, mechanized battalion of uh, Polish to, um, uh, army uh, uh, took uh, uh, the territory under control and uh, um and then they neutralized the enemies today ukraine commemorates the tragedy of the uh, downed uh, uh, aircraft Il-76 in 2014 in result of terrorist act committed by Russian uh, militants, 40 airborne uh, soldiers and 25 uh, uh, from the 25 uh, brigade and nine members of the crew were uh, were killed. Uh, Mm, uh, died because of the explosion in Luhansk airport. They are heroes, and we remember them forever. Thank you very much, Tindra. Now for the questions, uh, uh, we will finish it.